You're in the business insurance zone with me, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. This week on The Biz, the Extreme Retirement Solution Series. And on today's show, the Retirement Challenge with special guest, top and court of the table, Curtis Cloak, creator of The Annuity Bulldozer. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And with me today, they call him Dr. Dia, but we know him affectionately as Curtis Cloak. Welcome to our show, Curtis. Thank you, Steve. Well, I have to tell you, uh, it's, it's great to have a person that is inventive, creative, and has taken his retail practice to the masses of advisors in this idea of the annuity bulldozer. And we'll get into that later on in the week. Curtis is gonna be with us all this week. We're gonna be talking about these solutions, these retirement riot issues. You know, and I really like that, that's a pretty cool idea. I wanna talk a little bit about this idea that the college, American College, picked up for you this new designation. I don't know if everybody knows about this new designation. Talk a little bit about that, Curtis. Well, the American College has created something called Retirement Income Certified Professionals designation, and it's, uh, it's something that started a little more than a year ago. Uh, they've now got all three of the, the online courses out there, and it's uh, basically a course that, pr that utilizes experts from around uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, in various topics related to retirement income planning. And uh, I just happen to be one of the experts that they picked up on to discuss the income flooring concepts and the utilizing guaranteed income sources uh, such as annuities. But I, what I find fascinating is when the American College adopts somebody's thinking, somebody's platform, they understand, wow, Curtis, you've really invented some ideas here about distribution. This is this whole thing. I mean, everybody's talking about retirement today. Distribution is the most important idea in retirement and how to do it efficiently. And you have really, honestly, you've leveled the playing field, not only with your software, the annuity bulldozer, but your whole entire way of approach is very unique. And not only does the college pick up on this, but you've had actuaries, right? I mean, you've had actuaries actually look at this stuff and say, wow, you have really brought us to a whole new level. Yeah, in 2007, I was really blessed, Steve, to uh, be introduced to a man by the name of Garth Bernard. Uh, Garth, at the time, was in charge of the fixed income uh, product development uh, as an actuary at MetLife and had developed, uh, back in 2004, the very first uh, longevity insurance uh, deferred income annuity for MetLife. And uh, there was some information that was published one day, and in 2007, I get a call out of the blue from New York. And this is uh, Mr. Garth Bernard. And uh, Garth would actually fly to my city, Burlington, Iowa, spend a couple of days with me, uh, call me, call me about three or four months later, and said, "Kurt, you're really onto something." And Garth would later resign his uh, ex executive senior position with MetLife uh, in 2008, and and uh, become my partner, my business partner. And he actually, uh, through his relationships and sources, would then develop software that would implement what I was doing in spreadsheets with my clients. Well, what's amazing is you were you were just a normal retail c consumer advisor. You're a planner. You're just doing this. Why did you feel like you had to go to the next level and create something that didn't exist? What was the vacuum that you saw? Well, you know, in 1999 was when I discovered uh, a deferred income annuity. Um, and and just, so, just so the audience understands, I'm, I'm an agnostic. Uh, I, we do assets under management. We do uh, fixed insurance products. Uh, we're involved in estate planning and long-term care planning as part of the holistic retirement solutions. Uh, but in, in 1999, I would discover that you could buy income today, you could buy income in the future. And because of the efficiencies of no fee drag, uh, change of order of tax, uh, we now call uh, intimately FIBO, mm -hmm. uh, first in blend out tax treatment. So it's a, it's oh, I know LIFO. Yeah. I know FIFO. Now you're saying FIBO. FIBO. Talk a little bit about that All because right. I, I remember we're, a lot of people in our audience, and remember 20% of our audience might be consumer. What does that mean? Well, you know, uh, if you try to explain tax exclusion ratio uh, to a consumer, um, y you may see the eyes roll back in their head. <laughs> and so one of the things that we've done over the 15 years we've been working on efficient, uh, efficiency in terms of retirement planning is we've been trying to find a way to make the vernacular understandable and much more simply understood. And so most people understand the concept of LIFO and most people understand the concept of FIFO. But very few people understand the vernacular of tax exclusion 
ratio or tax, treat, tax exclusion tax treatment. And so we just discovered that, you know, really the picture of that is FIBO, first N, blend out. And when you use pictures that identify the vernacular of FIBO, there's an immediate transfer of understanding. Mm -hmm. When you think about, uh, you, you came to this realization, and you weren't a software developer. No. I mean, you, you had no desire to do this. So how do you go from retail client, you know, you're just doing retail clients, now all of a sudden you have all these advisors buying the Annuity Bulldozer because it's such a huge tool in their, in their toolbox. How do you get from being a regular planner to, oh, now I'm a software manufacturer of, annuity, of the Annuity Bulldozer? Well, again, it was it was uh, you know the actuary Garth Bernard that actually uh, came in 2007 and found me. And first, he developed the software uh, we call the Thrive Income Model that would uh, help advisors mm -hmm. define the gap and then fill the gap using the most efficient uh, solutions that uh, that we believe would be available for guaranteed income solutions. Uh, as I began to approach uh, all the products that were available in the space, um, I realized that it was it was really a math and science. And again. Uh, it was very difficult for the general advisor or the general insurance agent to totally comprehend um, what the pure what the pure benefit from a deposit mm -hmm. of a certain sum of money was at the end of the day. And so once we decided what the components were, what the data inputs were that helped solve the equation, it was just about not only finding vernacular that, mm -hmm. that chasm the understanding very easily, it was about creating a data input that created a solution for which the advisor could use to product select. How do I product allocate this using the least amount of the assets to generate the maxim, ma maximum amount of income? And so the bulldozer is intended to help advisors with income riders determine what's the true return, what's, mm. the, what's the pure, pure benefit to the consumer. Mm. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the Retirement Challenge and Curtis's Retirement Riot right after the break. And don't forget, you can visit IULUniversity.com for the best training and education in life insurance for retirement income. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant with Curtis Cloak. And remember, you can order today's materials at thebiz.tv. Hey, and while you're out there, don't forget to click on the Backroom Technician icon right on the Biz blog for their 30-day free trial offer for the best needs analysis and education material that covers almost every financial planning scenario. And on today's show, Curtis is offering a free 30-day trial offer on the Annuity Bulldozer. You just go download.annuitybulldozer.com, download it for 30 days, and you'll be able to look and see how this works. This works with almost every single income scenario. I mean, annuities, uh, 401k, I mean, you can really put all this distribution on there, correct? Actually, the Annuity Bulldozer is just testing pure our eternal rates of return as it relates to uh, a, do a deposit being put in, what's the math and science of no the No matter what it's invested no in. No matter what it's in. Wow. And remember, just a heads up, before moving forward with anything you hear on the show, always consult your tax advisor, legal counsel, as well as your broker-dealer compliance officer if you are so FINRA licensed. We're talking about the Retirement Challenge, and you, <laughs> you copy wrote this thing called the Retirement Riot. When I heard this, I was going to think about putting a little, uh, you know, quiet riot music on in the background, just kind of zip it up here. But tell me, why did you invent this? What does that mean, retirement riot? 
Well, you know, back in 2010, I was reading a magazine on an airplane on my way to California. And uh, actually, the, the, the picture as part of the article showed a vehicle laying on its side with fires in the middle of the street. And in the foreground, you could see teenagers with bandanas running in the streets where you could, you could very well see the picture. And I was amazed to see what, what, the, what the conversation was. The conversation and, and the picture was in France. Well, when you think of France, do you think of, of riots? Or do you think of Eiffel Tower, wine, good food, little oven? I mean, you don't think of riots. Right. And, and as I read a little deeper, I realized that the reason for this in France and in Europe was because they had changed the early retirement age for their, for their federal system from age 60 to 62 under a certain age. Mm -hmm. And there were riots in the street. For a two-year extension. Yeah, actually, it was, it was to go into effect January of 2014. And so I'm thinking about this whole concept of retirement riot, which is kind of the way that this uh, story depicted things. And uh, I actually put the magazine in my seat pocket in front of me uh, on the airplane, fell asleep for about an hour. And when I woke up, crossed my legs, dropped the, 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 the article uh, on the floor. I had to reach down, pick it up. And I'm looking at the article. And I started thinking about a client of mine in Burlington that I had actually been working with for more than 20 years. This man's name is Joe. Now, Joe was a man that... Uh, he was a, a CEO that actually went to, went to work doing the things he went to school for. A very compliant young man when he was growing up, and he was just kind of focused and head to the grindstone, so to speak. And so Joe was one of those non-emotional guys that would never share a personal story or, or never let you know exactly what he was thinking. But he would just keep doing business with you. So we started to implement the, the processes for which we incorporated for, use, for our Thrive uh, platform. And... Uh, uh, about three months before this flight, I remember I was speaking to Joe recently in a retail establishment. And when I saw Joe, he couldn't quit talking. In fact, he was smiling and laughing, talking about the last mission trip that he had just gone on, talking about his work with the library board, talking about uh, grandkids and, and kids. And I, and I saw a, a conversation with a man that almost made him look brand new. And as I sat there in my, my, my seat that day on that airplane thinking about this story, I said, well, Joe's having a retirement riot. <laughs> Two connotations of the same term. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, retirement can be a wonderful thing, and retirement can be a curse. Mm -hmm. It depends on how well you prepare and plan for it. It might also depend upon those for which our clients rely on for advice. And so th through the remainder of the flight, I said, well, what does riot stand for? And so I come up with a vernacular, uh, a vernacular name, I think represents what it is that we try to accomplish. I think it's everyone's mission to create retirement income on time and on target. And so if you spell that out, that represents the word hmm. riot. So thus, uh, we're in the midst of writing a book entitled Retirement Riot. You know, you have a lot of acronyms and little ways of explaining, you know, like even the DIA, you know, I don't know of how many people talk about it the way you talk about it. How did you come up with DIA? What does it stand for? Well, you know, when I discovered uh, what, what is now intimately called deferred income annuity in, in the industry, uh, in, in January of 1999, when I discovered from a manufacturer that had really had it on the shelf, really hadn't been sold for, for about 20 years, um, it was called a, a delayed SPIA. And as I began to think about, and that was the actuary that shared the, that ver vernacular with me, as I, as I began to think about it, I thought, well, that's an oxymoron. There, you know, a SPIA represents immediate income, and a DIA mm -hmm. represents future income. Mm -hmm. So for a while, we called it a SPDIA, try to make it similar. <laughs> and we just dropped the SPA and just said DIA. So deferred income, annuity, deferred income annuity or delayed income annuity, we coined that phrase clear back in about February, January of 1999. So uh, today, I believe the word DIA is being written about almost all every time, day, and yeah. it's all over the industry. Beacon represents it in terms of capturing sales mm -hmm. for that product. When we think about the retirement challenge that's out there today, we're looking at, we need solutions like this. This is why we're talking about it. And I'm looking at, of course, the debt ceiling. We're almost at $7 trillion at the time of this recording. We're sitting, if you go out to the uh, truthandaccounting.org and you look at not only the U.S. debt, but the combination of all the obligations of the government, we're looking at somewhere north of $76 trillion. This is a huge issue. Talk a little bit about what you see as the debt and how this is imposing itself on our retirement. Well, well first of all, you had, you, we had uh, you know, sequester. We had... Uh, um, We've got about $38,000. Every man, woman, and child in America today, if you were to calculate everyone's share of the debt, it's over $38,000 today. And there's a, there's a, a number of materials that are posted on, on dshort.com mm -hmm. that we re rely on. And, and one of the charts that I utilize in my presentation show 
uh, uh, from 2010 and forward to 2020, wow. what the uh, what the entitlements for Social Security and Medicare and all those sources are going to be, and it's just nearly a straight line, you know, uh, well, straight we're, line. Up. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Listen, we're going to talk all this week about everything about retirement. And we're talking about it with Curtis Cloak. You can watch me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and email me at steve at biz.tv. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. 